4. The Discourse About Moonlight Thus I heard, at one time the Gracious One was dwelling near Rajagaha in bamboo wood at the squirrel's feeding place. Then at that time Venerable Sariputta and Venerable Mahamogalana were living at the Pigeon Vale. Then at that time Venerable Sariputta, on a moonlit night, with his hair freshly shaved off, was sitting in the open air, having attained a certain concentration. Then at that time two Yaka friends were going from the northern region to the southern region with some business or other. Those Yakas saw Venerable Sariputta on that moonlit night with his hair freshly shaved off, sat in the open air. And after seeing him, one of those Yakas said this to the second Yaka, It occurs to me, friend, to give a blow on this ascetic's head. When that was said, that Yaka said this to the other Yaka, Enough, friend, don't strike the ascetic. Eminent is the ascetic friend of great power, of great majesty. For a second time that Yaka said this to the other Yaka, It occurs to me, friend, to give a blow on this ascetic's head. For a second time that Yaka said this to the other Yaka, Enough, friend, don't strike the ascetic. Eminent is the ascetic friend of great power, of great majesty. For a third time that Yaka said this to the other Yaka, It occurs to me, friend, to give a blow on this ascetic's head. For a third time that Yaka said this to the other Yaka, Enough, friend, don't strike the ascetic. Eminent is the ascetic friend of great power, of great majesty. Then the Yaka, taking no notice of that other Yaka, gave a blow on the elder venerable Sariputta's head. It was such a great blow that with that blow a seven or seven and a half cubit Naga elephant might have been felled, or a great mountain top might have been burst open. Then that Yaka calling out, I'm burning, I'm burning, right there and then fell into the great hell. Then Mahamogalana saw with his divine eye, which is purified and surpasses that of normal men, that Yaka giving a blow on Venerable Sariputta's head. And after seeing it, he went to Venerable Sariputta, and after going, he said this to Venerable Sariputta, Can you bear up, Venerable friend? Can you carry on? Do you have any pain? I can bear up, friend Mogalana. I can carry on, friend Mogalana, but I have a little pain on my head. Wonderful, friend Sariputta, marvellous, friend Sariputta, such is the venerable Sariputta's great power and great majesty. Here, venerable Sariputta, a certain yaka gave a blow on your head. It was such a great blow that with that blow a seven or seven and a half cubit naga elephant might have been felled, or a great mountain top might have been burst open. But then Venerable Sariputta said this, I can bear up friend Mogalana, I can carry on friend Mogalana, but I have a little pain on my head. Wonderful friend Mogalana, marvellous friend Mogalana, such is the Venerable Maha Mogalana's great power and great majesty, inasmuch as he can see even a yaka, whereas we at present do not even see a mud demon. The Gracious One heard with his divine ear element, which is purified and surpasses that of normal men, the fitting talk and conversation of these two great Nagas. Then the Gracious One, having understood the significance of it, on that occasion uttered this exalted utterance. For he whose mind is like a rock, steady and not wavering, unexcited by what is exciting, not agitated by what is agitating, for he whose mind is developed thus, from where will pain come upon him?